Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a review of the latest release from Nina Rishi in their iconic Nina range. It is called Nina Extra Rouge. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, how it differs to the original Nina and the Nina Rouge, which came out last year. If you're new here, then hello. Welcome, we're all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos reviewing all the new releases. I will leave the link to my review of the Nina Rouge perfume that came out last year down below. And I also have my perfume review website where I have a detailed article on all all the different versions of Nina that you can buy today. So I'll leave that link down below as well, where I'll also leave the link to where you can buy this in UK, Europe, North America, Australia, if it's available everywhere yet. And if you are a regular, do check to see if you're subscribed, hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. So the Nina Rishi Nina fragrances come in this iconic apple bottle, which is so recognisable. The original Nina, Nina Rishi, was one of my first ever fragrances. Um, it comes in the transparent red bottle. It's still very much sold today. And it was a fruity, sweet, caramelly, fruity, fun fragrance which was perfect for me as like a young teenager and I loved the bottle um, I've always loved apples and things so I, I always remember how much I love that bottle so whenever a new version comes out I'm always really interested in it. There's been countless versions like maybe over 30 and there's around 20 that are still available now. New releases and less recent ones that are discontinued which I have listed in my article where you can still buy them. And then last year they released Nina Rouge, which came in the red bottle, but it had a, like a chunk taken out of it as if it had been bitten and that was white. Whereas this new one, Extra Rouge, is just all red and it's also like a matte color, whereas Nina Rouge was shiny. And you can see it comes in this cute, like apple red and white bottle as well. Uh, packaging. So the Nina Rouge from last year, I quite liked it. I wasn't blown away with it. It had that caramel in it, which is so iconic and reminiscent of the original Nina. And then it had a raspberry in, so it was quite fresh, fruity, sweet, eau de toilette, not too intense. And I found that the lasting power was okay, better than some of the other ones in the Nina range but it wasn't that strong. Now Nina Extra Rouge, I am very excited about because this is an Eau de Parfum, so it's stronger than Rouge. Uh, this is the 30 mil, so the leaves come off with the top on the 30 mil. On the 1500 mil, or I think that's their size, um, I think the leaves stay on, and they also have that bite taken out of them, but it's all red, it's not got the white bite. Mm. So this is definitely a much stronger, better for lasting fragrance. It has the raspberry in it from Nina Rouge, but it also has black currant, one of my favourite notes. And then we got a praline vanilla undertone, um, which is a bit warmer than the caramel from Nina Rouge. There's also a hint of tea and grapefruit, so it keeps it having a refreshing grapefruity edge but I really get the black currant and the raspberry and I really get the praline. So for me, this is much more like reliable, stronger, more grown up than a lot of the Eau de Toilettes we've seen released from the Nina Rishi range. I also think it is stronger than the original Nina Nina Rishi, even though that is pretty good considering it's an Eau de Toilette. So this isn't like super heavy, super intense, but compared to the others from Nina Rishi, it is really, strong. Mm, that tea note is coming through. It does have like a slightly green floral undertone and I guess it's kind of the black current as well. There's a hint of rose I think maybe that's what I'm getting. So it feels much more grown up. It's definitely like the older sister of the Nina perfumes. You could definitely wear this in an evening, on a night out. If you like your fruity sweet perfumes uh, like Jimmy Choo, Eau de Parfum, my favourite, and you're looking for something perhaps for the summertime, but to wear in the evening, or something that has a bit of a sweetness to it that isn't just really light for during the day, then this is a good option, I think, because it's not too heavy, but it does still have some power that you can rely on, unlike a lot of Eau de Toilettes these days. 
I think if you like my Burberry, those like raspberry type scents, you definitely like this, but it's much more affordable than my Burberry. So yeah, any raspberry fans, um, fans of Trezor, La Nuit, definitely worth checking this out. And obviously the bottle is super cute as well. So Mina Extra Rouge, definitely Soaky approved. I definitely like it. Mm. Smells lovely, smells grown up, and I love the bottle, so what more could you want, really? So, yeah, really happy with this. Guys, let me know, have you managed to try this yet? What did you think of Nina Rouge that came out last year? Um, did you have the original like me, or do you still have it? Let me know in the comments down below. I do read all your comments. And like I said, I'll leave the links where you can get this down below, along with my article on the range. But that's it, guys. So, thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!